Warp Drive. We've all heard the term or something similar over the years in some of our favorite sci-fi movies, TV shows, and books. But how far-fetched is traveling through space and time to distances measured in light years? Is there a way to warp or bend space in order to travel to the other side of the galaxy in hours rather than hundreds of thousands of years? The answers may surprise you. Hi, I'm Holly, and welcome to Holly's Law. In 1905, Albert Einstein's theory of special relativity was published. It explains how motion and speed are always relative to the observer's frame of reference. It created a fundamental link between space and time. The universe can be understood as having three space dimensions, up, down, left, right, forward, backward, and one time dimension. This four-dimensional space is referred to as the space-time continuum. Special relativity holds that nothing can move faster than the speed of light. This notion has deterred many from exploring interstellar travel but has inspired others to attempt to bypass it. Physicists have begun to explore the concepts behind manipulating space itself in the form of contraction and expansion. One theorized method of accomplishing this is by generating a warp bubble to contract the space in front of a spacecraft while expanding the space behind it. The ship would then be able to travel in the warp bubble or on a wave at speeds that seemingly surpass those restricted by light. One of the pioneers of this theory, physicist Miguel Abacare, wrote, in this way, the spaceship will be pushed away from the Earth and pulled towards a distant star by space-time itself. Another physicist leading the research of these concepts with NASA is Dr. Harold White. A simple way to describe the warp bubble theory would be by comparing it to a surfer riding a wave into the shore. The surfer is stationary on a surfboard that is riding a wave much faster than if they were swimming. Let the surfboard represent the spacecraft, the wave represent the warp bubble, and allow the ocean to represent the fabric of space. Among the ideas of bypassing the restrictions of light speed are also the exploration of antimatter and something called dark energy, which is the accepted reason for the rapid expansion of our universe, a topic we'll discuss in another episode. Some believe that an answer to space-time manipulation lies within understanding this phenomenon. No matter how distant we are from achieving faster-than-light travel, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson, an astrophysicist at the American Museum of Natural History, says it best. By my read, the idea of a functioning warp drive remains far-fetched, but the real takeaway is that people are thinking about it, reminding us all that the urge to explore continues to run deep in our species. With the help of creative minds and extraordinary scientists, we may one day be able to bend, warp, stretch, or compress the fabric of space. This would allow us to travel to distant corners of the universe in a short amount of time. Here's some mind-blowing food for thought. If astronauts of the future were to travel 65 million light years away, they could point their advanced telescopes towards Earth and see dinosaurs roaming their planet. Or if our future explorers journey to a point at billions of light years away, they could witness our planet's birth. 